Hey everyone, today I have a cool new AI image generator. It's one that solves a lot of problems that you guys have mentioned in the comments. So if you've been looking for more control in terms of your image output and who amongst us hasn't, uh, you're gonna be very interested in checking this out. Oh, and it's free too. Okay, let's dive in. So this is a character concept sketch from a comic book that I was pitching a while back. The pitch never went anywhere. And actually I didn't draw this, a very talented artist by the name of Eck actually was the artist on that project but I'm not one to let art go to waste because what I'm about to show you takes this and turns it into this, which is pretty crazy, right? It actually looks like a film still from an adaptation of the comic book that I never made. Today, we're taking a look at Promi AI from the team behind Cutout.pro, which I think a lot of you are familiar with. Cutout.pro is a site that has a lot of modules for background removers, image resizers, and some video tools. So there are no strangers to the AI game, but with this new tool, they're doing something really impressive and something pretty unique. All right, let's go take a look at it. When you first log in, you'll be greeted with a couple of different modules. We're gonna be concentrating on that first one, sketch rendering, as I think that's the one that you're probably gonna find the most useful. Um, although you can see they have tools like AI painting and I guess an AI chat coming soon. Now, what's really interesting about sketch rendering is that it doesn't act like a standard prompt generator. Instead, it kind of acts a little bit more like the image prompting in Midjourney, only when you image prompt in Midjourney, it sort of takes it as a suggestion, whereas Promi.ai really listens to you. To show you how it works, I'm gonna take this sketch, which is another character from that same comic, and I'm going to drag it into sketch rendering. So once it's in, we have this section where we can add additional prompts in here, and then we have these various styles. This is actually a custom style that I put together, but you'll have realistic, precise animation, concept, and fantasy. Each one of these sort of acts as a different kind of stylization filter, and depending on what you're aiming for, you're gonna kind of wanna experiment around with each one of these. After a few iterations, we ended up here, which is super cool. You can tell that it had some problems with the shirt, mostly because it was sort of done with a Sharpie marker and it is a sketch. And it ultimately ended up creating kind of this cool dragon pattern uh, on the shirt. Now, it did get confused between the pattern and the skin tone and the shirt, but there is a fix for that that I'm gonna show you in just a second. So ultimately what I find is really interesting to try out the various models is just to take one of your iterations and come down to sketch rendering. And then that reloads it into this section where you can then run other modules. For example, rerunning that last output in under the fantasy module gets us this image. And you could add prompts in as you change the modules around. For example, in this one, I did concept design for 3D, ran our same image again under this concept module and ended up with a concept. 3D sketch sort of thing. So if you think about it, it's pretty weird. We took a, a character sketch, turned it into a photorealistic person, then turned it back into a sort of 3D rendered concept sketch. So going back to the t-shirt thing, one of the things that I really like about Promi is that you can come up here and do an erase and replace, basically, you know, in painting. So we have a module here where all I have to do is uh, use the eraser tool, which we have controls for here and paint along the shirt or where the shirt would be. As a description, we'll put black t-shirt with white dragon design and we end up with a couple of options to choose from. Uh, or we could continue to erase and replace, taking this image and now restarting the process over again. So we could change that white dragon into whatever we wanted to. So ultimately that's pretty crazy looking at these two characters who really never made it to the final page coming to life in this way. All right, let's take a look at a few more examples. So here's another image that I did. This was kind of based off of the style that Brian Michael Bendis used in his comic book Jinx. In that graphic novel, Bendis used a lot of photo referencing in order to create his panel. So that was kind of the overall idea with this, where I took a photograph, brought it into Photoshop, and then using the pen tool, kind of created a black and white high contrast image out of it. 15 years later, I bring it into Promi AI and we get these images, which is insane. It's like it finally fully comes to life. Um, running the realistic mode gives us this image and then trying out the precise mode gets us this, which is much more heavily stylized. It's Both images are super cool. Um, actually, I honestly think that the precise one would work better in sort of a comic book format. 
And again, what's kind of interesting is that you can continue to iterate and play around with things. Uh, I took that first realistic image, brought it back over, changed the prompt to Cyberpunk Street, and ended up with this image, which is pretty cool. So if you've watched a few of my videos, you probably know that I'm a big fan of taking like these various AI tools and kind of bashing them together. Um, I think you end up with some pretty interesting results that way. So. I found this image on Leonardo.ai. It's very reminiscent of Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn, a game that I actually just finished the other night. It was okay. Um, so I took the image and then the prompt as well, because I was very curious to see how prompting affects things in Promi.ai. Back to back, I think the Promi output is really, really cool. Um, I think it did get a little tripped up and kind of created that sort of metal side cheek via the, I guess, Harry Potter-esque scar that's on the original uh, image. But again, we do have the ability to in-paint that out. So after just a few minutes with the in-painting tool, we ended up here. Now it did leave a few kind of metal fragments on her face behind, but I actually thought that ended up looking cool. So I just decided to leave it in. I could very easily go back and, you know, in-paint over that, but again, style. I think it's cool. One more example before I answer the question of, well, what if I can't draw? So this is a panel from a comic that I did that was published called Henchman Inc. The overall premise was, why would anyone want to become a henchman? And the answer was, well, it's mostly a temp service. So anyhow, taking this panel, running it through Promi AI gets us this image, which is pretty crazy. Um, now, they do have an interesting HD repaint feature as well, if you choose to subscribe to them, which as the name implies, uh, adds just a little more texture to everything. Like you can definitely see it in this guy's leather jacket and in the hat, um, a little bit extra, I guess, in this guy's face as well. So yeah, pretty cool. And now to answer the question, what if you can't draw or rather aren't that great at drawing? Well, you might remember a little while back, I did a video about my daughter Molly and her AI nightmare, where she ended up drawing a picture of the bad robot that was chasing her around school. As promised in that video, we did go out to the fire pit, take her picture and burn it, and then we ate s'mores. So I asked her if we could use a different sketch of hers for this video, and she said, you could use this one. This is a picture of the Squishamello Plague Doctor, which seems to be the plushy craze that she's into right now. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I know we have like four of them in the house and pictures of them everywhere. So after playing around with some prompting and the various models, we ended up with this, which I actually thought was pretty cool. And more importantly, passed the Molly test who actually thought it looked pretty decent. Overall, I think Promi AI is really interesting. Um, and I didn't really even get a chance to play around with photo bashing and seeing what we could do on that side of it. So that's something that you guys might want to explore. Uh, it's totally free, so I would recommend giving it a shot. Although they do have a membership tier, uh, which allows you to download high res images as well, as well as the HD repaint that I featured earlier. But you can definitely experiment on the free tier and download images as well. They're just lower res, I think like 640 by 640. I'd like to thank Promi AI and Cutout.pro for sponsoring this video. Um, they have actually been kind enough to give you guys some free credits as well to the Cutout Pro website. The details are down below. Lastly, props to that team for coming up with something kind of cool and unique. I think that as we're starting to evolve in these AI image generators, I think it's neat to have different methodologies to create images. So again, props to Promi AI for doing something different here. So yeah, head on over, give it a shot, and let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you for watching. My name is Tim.